Oh, it said you joined and then left. What did you do? I'm joining. Well, it said you left already, so... <laughs> um... I had to get my beverage before I started. It's tradition. Tradition. Okay, you're, you're here again. Okay. Um... I'm going to go and cut down some more trees because I need... I want a different wood for the roof of the thing. Um, though, if you could look into getting better buckets, we're going to... What we're going to need to do is... Uh, actually, I'm going to need you to finish making the Tinker stuff. Remember, you you built two stencil tables and uh, part makers instead of um, the tool station. So, yeah. we're going to need the tool station. Um to be made so we, but then you want me to make I a think, lava bucket uh well the i we do need to make buckets but the way you make buckets is you get a, your a bucket cast and then put um iron into it and it makes an iron bucket i'm pretty sure so we need to make a bunch of clay buckets which isn't too difficult um but yeah to do that first we need uh, yeah, a bunch of clay buckets, and we need to collect the lava with the clay buckets, and then, uh, put them in the smeltery, which will expend the clay bucket, because, uh, it can only hold lava one time. Um, but then once lava's in the furnace, we can melt iron, though we have to find iron, which shouldn't be too difficult. Um, but... Once we do that, I just got an iron sword from a zombie. <laughs> How about that? So I, I, so I have to make unfired clay barrels. Does less damage though. James? Uh, no, no, no. But uh, wait, I think so for a bucket. I'm not entirely sure. Well, I just uh, made one. Do, do, does it say to do that? Yeah, because I, 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 I did my search on buckets. Okay. Then, yeah, that's probably what you need to do. And you need to put that on the turntable, which is um near the the saw. Is that uh, the press? Near the press? Yeah, uh, what, near the... No, 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 no. It's near the, um, the saw at the water mill. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh. You know the thing that made the... Um... Things for the... Oh, near mind. the mill. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, There. Oh, it's right at the top. Yeah, yeah. And I'll try to not get chopped enough. By the way, hello, boys and girls. We're back. <laughs> hello. We're back for some more... You fell in more silliness. Well, maybe more silliness. I don't know. I'm chopping down a tree at the moment. That's not really silly. <laughs> oh, it's it's I more productive. Ho we're we're hoping for more productivity, <laughs> distilled distilled content that's productive. It's taken me a while to cut down this tree, though. <sighs> I wish. So how does I cannot how does wait. This thing work? What thing? Oh, uh, you put it on, and then, um, it should make it. And you do the knob thing at the front? Uh, I don't think so. I think that's just different settings. One of the settings is the one that makes the bucket, but I'm not sure which one. Okay, so um, I made the bucket. Made the bucket. May make uh, more of them if possible, because it takes... Um, it will. Well, it will take... Because you use up the bucket, once you use lava in it, and it's like an expendable resource, you you need multiple. Um, that's why we need regular buckets as soon as possible, so that we can <laughs> we can have permanent buckets. Why can't we make permanent buckets now? Uh, because we need to we need to make them using the smeltery, and we the smeltery isn't powered until it's got lava in it. So that's why we can't do it immediately yet. Uh, oh, you just blocked them, I think. 
Let's get these back. That's a bunch of U logs, so I think I'll head I'm back now. I'm not a log. <laughs> it's a U log. Yep. Not a log. No, they're me logs. <laughs> eh. ar, ar. Ar, ar, ar. Hello. Hello. Oh, wait, I need to be here too. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure I got it. Oh, no. Ooh. That was a mistake. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to break both of them. <laughs> oh, no, you got it back. Lucky. I'm making a mess. <laughs> Look at the mess I'm making. <laughs> It's like real life, James. No, no, no. Look at me standing on my bucket. <laughs> Why are you standing on the bucket? Uh... Watch. Hey. Um. Get rid of that. Get rid of that too. That's a lot of wood. <laughs> Look at me. Look up! Look up! Uh, You'll miss it! It's, it doesn't matter. Uh. Hello. This is a very convenient waterfall for us. Anyone would have thought you planned it. Well, I actually didn't. <laughs> when, when I thought about it, because the way I did it, la the way I planned it, in the previous world was to be off the the bits that were coming off the side um in the like that were filling up the our uh, farms but this one just worked out in a way where the waterfall was just it just was a nice flat area that was easy to use actually no, it turned out really well inventory. yeah it, it was really convenient when i went down i'm like oh that's gonna be really good for us Especially for shooting people from a distance. Yeah. <laughs> it was really funny because um, with the previous episode, I was watching because I could see your point of view and how you'd shoot at me, but if there was a zombie next to me, the arrow just redirected to the yeah. zombie. <laughs> it, was, it was a little annoying. Or at the last second, I'll move. Yep. Right when I, right when I had you. If anyone wants to look at that previous episode to this one, and if you want to see people just doing stupid stuff for the sake of being stupid because they're bored, by all means. <laughs> I, f I think I need to go to the Between Lands and make a purifier or something, because my tools uh, are wearing out. Cause they're, they're, corro they're becoming corroded. I don't know if this is an overworld thing or not, but they're cor they're corroded a little, and it's not convenient. Hmm. I reckon we need to jump in the water to attract some Stanleys. No, no. I think they'll attract themselves. I still miss the OG Stanley. He's, he's, he's a real Stanley. But now we just gotta stand and chop. And watch Stanley's. And his best, and his <coughs> best friend, Knife. You never had a best friend. Knife was just an imagination. <laughs> How's your bucket going? How's your bucket making going? I've made 13 of them. 13? I think that's plenty. Well, I've got three to go, so I may as well while I'm here. I may as well commit. I'll have 17. Now, that's a very specific number, isn't it? 
I don't think it's specific enough. 17.5195699. There we go. You have a little bit more than 17 buckets. <laughs> This is like the first sign of industrialism from us. Just this, this little it. corner. Okay. Ah! Well done. At least you didn't uh, chop yourself. Not this time. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> but the last time, eh? I love our Tower of Mordor. Yeah, I like our tower too. It's great. I wonder how far we would have progressed if we were on the other, on the other land. The uh, OG. Probably the same. I have grown to like this day, but I still do miss the old one. Hmm. The old one uh, was was first, so <laughs> it will always feel better. And if any of you guys that have only really just joined us lately, and if you want to see. Uh, age one and two were done. Uh, what what do we call it? We just had a dimension shift, didn't we? Yeah. In another dimension, and uh, it's very similar to this, but different at the same. Similar but different. We have pretty much all the same stuff we had. So, do I cook these buckets over here? Yes, you do. I think you can do it on the grills. I think though it was meant to be done in the kilns, but I'm pretty sure it works on the grills. But we'll find out. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> it worked. So does that mean you're gonna go on a hunt for um lava? For lava? I don't know. I can either do that or do what you asked me to do. I mean that would be nice. What would you what would you prefer? Well, you need to uh you need to we need to get lava, so that'll be important for getting the smeltery up and running. Well there should be lava just like um very, very close by actually. I mean hopefully. I'd, no wonder that didn't bloody work. There's no fire under that one. Bricks. I just realize that I don't know why I, when did I oh for fuck's sake. Uh, I got 16 seared bricks, apparently. I must have gotten them after the fact. When I, when I finished this. From, like, extras that you, you were doing. There we go, we got another, we got another level. Um, Yay. I'll keep these two. Hey, here we, yeah, here we are. <laughs> How did it go? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yo, 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 we are. Yeah, yo, 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 we are. Fuck <laughs> <Like> you. <laughs> you almost was like an opera singer. Yeah, yo, we, we are. Actually, you know why? You know, you know what? I was thinking of the old land, how we had that um bit of a mine shaft that was next next to the castle and the village, and I went to go there, except. It's not there. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It is. Do we have anywhere like like that around here at the moment? We have um We have a couple of mines for um for uh stuff that isn't um <laughs> lava. Uh are there we got, any mines? Tin, tin mines and copper mines and stuff. They mar they're marked on the map. Um, and we got a coal mine too that's near the village. Um, they're they're the mines that are that we're actively using, I think still. Um, well. we still need to find iron mines. Um, well, but yeah, I am gonna go and look for lava. Good. Oh, I 
I'm hoping yeah, this gets taller so it's like a proper chimney soon. Um, chimney. But yeah, I might, I might make it smaller though, because I, I don't. I mean, I don't think we need to have a furnace as gigantic as, <laughs> or a smeltery, I should say, as gigantic as what we've got. Um, I mean, yet here we are. Um, um, zombies, and I don't think it needs to be open me. to the to the sky either. So we'll see how this goes. But the the general plan is that this is gonna become some sort of chimney. Um, so it chimney. looks like a proper a proper uh, smeltery or, or a proper blacksmith, I should say. Black. Yes, that's what oh. I said. Do I do I have any um torches? No, I don't. That's really unlucky for me. Yeah, well, I guess you got to deal with it. What up, a da? Ha ha ha! What? The um, the skeleton got blown up by a creeper. <laughs> unlucky, I guess. Unlucky for him, indeed. Do you remember when the bat jump scared me? Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Even Brad. Brad came in and he um, watched that episode. Yeah. And he was cacking himself laughing. Good. All is well. <laughs> no! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> No, you don't run away from them. What happened? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. What happened? Truck, <laughs> a, a skeleton um, used his trumpet and blew me off the ledge. Uh, that's unfortunate. I'm trying oh, to find lava. Cool. Leave me alone. No. What are sheeps doing there? I think I should have used regular planks. I need to I eat because this easier. I'm unprepared for attack at the moment. I was just talking about ju being jump scared and then something happened. <laughs> yep, that's how it goes. I should, I should do this the proper way. No, no lava down here. I thought there was going to be lava because I saw a bit of light. You saw all the light? I saw the light. And it was bright. Yeah, I I just have increased the time it's going to take to do this by doing it wrong the first time. <laughs> Great. I'm throw, throw away the this is what eye. I get for trying to be fancy. <laughs> Well, you're a Negan poop. No. Yeah. Wrong. Wrong. Do you know who that reminds me of? What? Wix Luthor. Wrong. Superman talked about how he's evil never wins on Lex Luthor. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> That'd be good enough. I don't know. Would I be better off just trying to find like lava that's pouring out of a mountain or something? Uh, oh, well, you'll only get one bucket, so probably not. <laughs> I've got sixteen buckets. Yeah, I know, but if you find it pouring out of a mountain, you'll only get one bucket worth. Really? Yeah, because it's only one source block. <laughs> really? All right, I'm just gonna have to dig it under me. Mm-hmm. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Dig, dig, diggy, dig, dig, diggy, diggy, diggy hole. Mm, I don't think that's how it goes. 
I wish they stacked like slabs, but they don't. It would make this a lot more convenient. Because then instead of having to break these and and put blocks down instead, I could just put another slab down and make it a full block. Unfortunately, well, that is not the case. I'll just strip my... Oh! And I'm stuck having to fix my own problems. And now there's gravel when I don't need it anymore. Oh yeah, that you that always happens. What did you expect? Convenience? Yeah. Minecraft owes me everything. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I can't reach. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ah and there we go. Looks a little nicer. I don't think I'm going to do it here, though. Um, you know it was the shortest day of the year, the winter solstice yesterday? Yeah, was it? Fair In the enough. southern hemisphere, it's winter, so... That would be the longest day. It would be the summer it, solstice in, in the, the other northern side hemisphere. of the world. Exactly right. Yeah. And if you live that? in the equator, bad luck. And if you live on a flat earth, then unfortunate, I guess. That's right. You know, it would be impossible for the sun to set if the Earth was flat. You'd always see it. Mm. And its size would change. Mm. The sun, at, at the angle of the sun and its size would change. So even though we have that illusion on the round Earth, if you actually measure that, uh, like with a coin or something, oh, yeah, the like same you, size you notice, the sun, like it's actually the, the same. The, the moon, when it's on... The, the strange thing, though, is that that what what you'd expect to see on a flat her with flat earth with like the size changing and such um actually kind of happens like the opposite <laughs> with the moon because of the illusion uh when it gets closer to the horizon it actually looks bigger which well, would be the complete small. opposite to what would actually happen that's right which is, which is always quite funny to think about because, you know, when, when people talk about the flat Earth and they're like, well, this is what would happen because it's flat. <laughs> and then well, the thing is, it they doesn't debunk happen the, at all. They debunk themselves because even when they use their own physics and apply that to if a, you would see a sunset or not, it actually could never be possible for it to disappear. And they, they put it down to perspective, but perspective doesn't even come into it yeah, at all. Yeah, perspective doesn't come into it. I mean, like, the only possible way you could sort of explain it is if you, if you're like, there, there's, there's, there's an actual physical thing in the atmosphere that stops you from, from seeing it up beyond a certain point. But, like, <laughs> it just doesn't exist. Like, you, you'd think it would have, it would have been discovered by now. With, with all the work that's been going on. If it actually was a thing. Well, considering that you can actually measure the curvature yourself. Yeah, I, I also find it crazy that people think that, like, like companies like NASA and, and all that, they're, they're so brilliant with their deception, but leave clues for people to find. <laughs> That's the weirdest bit. It's like the people that believe all the people in the space station are actors and they're hanging on wires. Have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah. Except they stream for like hours and hours and hours, so you can't actually CGI that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the way that they move with microphones and stuff, things would get tangled if they were actually wired. Hmm. So, yeah. I mean, it's always... I mean, like, people like this have probably always existed, but, you know, give, give, them a, give someone a voice and they'll shout at the top of their lungs sort of thing. <laughs> You know, they these people have have a vessel to speak what they want to speak and can speak it. Well, I mean, and, you, know, you know, I guess I guess power to them. They're they're entitled to their opinion, and it's a free world. So you know, good luck. Of course. And I mean, like, as as science is, is that like the way science work is that you know, you're always trying to prove things wrong. Right, that that that's what that's what science does. They like they they don't just come up with a definition and go, 
this is the law, or else science would cease to exist, uh, as we know it. Um, cause, cause science isn't just about going, this is what's right and this will always be right. I mean, like, and, it's, and as soon uh, as new the, data comes along, um, that, you know, out the old it. data, it, 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 it yeah, changes. the opinion changes. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure, um, oh, I mean, no. people, people bring up like the difference between, uh, I think Newton and Einstein's theories, but that's because, you know, Newton had one thought and Einstein went, nope, this is, this is the, this is what I think it is. And then that became the accepted sort of gist of what people believed. And that's, that's how science goes. Someone finds a better understanding oh. of the thing and it redefines stuff. It's like when people got angry that Pluto got remo like, relegated. removed, from, like relegated from planet status when, and, and saying, oh, they, they did it deliberately just to, to remove it from planet status. Like, yeah, they did. They did do it deliberately to remove it from planet status because it wasn't comparable. Yeah, and and there were more objects like Sedna and and a bunch of others that were found in the same area as, as Pluto that sort of led to towards um like the idea that it was it was kind of like another asteroid belt sort of thing where um that they where Ceres, Ceres, I think it is, was discovered and people thought it was a new planet and then more and more objects were found and then they decided that they had to give it a new name and they called it, they called them asteroids and it was the asteroid belt. Um, so, so that's sort of what like, and, and now apparently they call the objects found in Pluto's general area Plutoids, which is bizarre. Um, sounds like you need a special cream for that <laughs> but <laughs> yeah um they, and then people people getting all upset that oh you're just changing it to change it but like definitions change as more and more things are discovered and as and more things uh come, come to light about the actual situation at hand you know the, the science science is a ever evolving thing it's not a oh. it's not a permanent why is it that the Stanleys always show up at the last second when you get to the shore? Yeah. Like, they don't get you straight away. They just wait until you nearly get there. Yep. Um, but yeah, they, science is just an ever-evolving set of definitions. Uh, and they're always trying to to constantly disprove things. It's like, like uh, I was watching this video where someone thought they might have discovered... Uh, like what happened with the fl floods potentially across the Sahara Desert, uh, like mega tsunami type stuff, and it could be like an asteroid impact that happened ages ago, and what they th what they think it is, but their their whole philosophy is, I'm gonna do everything to try and disprove my theory first before actually stating it as a like some sort of proven theory, because that's just that's how science works. Yeah, you don't you don't just find your conclusion and declare it as fact. You got to put it through all the tests first. Which is, which is always, I always find uh, interesting. I need to find lava. I need to find lava. Um, I need to find lava. I've just sort of been standing and looking at this. It's pretty much done. I just need to, how do I make fence? That's how you spell fence. That's French. <laughs> okay. Uh, Merci beaucoup. Yeah, that's right. Merci beaucoup. Um. I need to find lava games do some and I'm struggling. Yeah, that's what, when you find like that one bit of lava. It's the saving grace every time. Sticks and stones. I'm gonna break my bones. That names will never hurt me. Sticks and stones. I got sticks. I was making sticks, so I just was speaking. <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully, forty-five fences will be enough. Nothing to see here. Oh, that's a shame. 
I'm also going to be working on the, the tool station now since it's taking you much longer to. Uh... Ah! <laughs> How'd it go? Did you hear that? Yes. No. Maybe. Um. I got blown up by. Creeper. It's unfortunate. I wasn't going to call them what I used to call them. <laughs> yeah, good call. Uh, what? It's. Still need the part chest. Okay, I need more sticks for that. Hmm. And obviously, this is quite easy. Uh, I need a pattern now. No lava. Uh, something like that. Pattern. That was completely off key oh, then. Is that how it's Nope. I'm not a cow. Ah, uh, face. Hey! Uh, I'm risking it for the bisking it. Risking for bisking. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get bitten by a Stanley here. Tool station! Oh, you made a tool station. Haven't I made one of them? No. No. No Stanleys. Run away. Oh, oh there's an army of skeletons! That's like a whole heap all together. It was like a, it was like a no. They're all shooting me. It was like a skeleton <laughs> orgy or something. It was. Oh, you better better keep clear of that. They had their bows out. They had their bones out mm. too. Hmm. Mm. You may Grow not up. be wrong, but you're skirting the line. <laughs> Grow up, Dad. I mean, doesn't a skeleton always have its bone out? <laughs> you could say that. Yeah, and they're very good at blowing their trumpet. Oh, I found lava! Hey! Oh, Success! Mark it yes. on the map. Um, write that down, yeah. write that down. <laughs>